Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning data visualization using R and ggplot2. The goal of plotting is to transparently visualize the data without hiding uncomfortable trends and patterns. Summary plot like bar plot is notorious in this aspect. It hides data distribution. Data with different distributions can have same summary statistics. Weisberger, in his article, Beyond Bar and Line Graphs, Time for a New Data Presentation Paradigm, explains this very well. Solution to this issue is RID plots. Plots which will show raw data, inferential statistics, as well as descriptive statistics. Pirate plot from package YAR by Nathaniel Phillips is the best RID plot I have ever encountered. Pirate plot is a plot which show raw data as points, descriptive statistics as mean or median, distribution as bins, and inferential statistics as 95% confidence. It can have bars also, and like bar plot can be grouped to show different categories. Pirate plot is the best plot to show summary statistics along with its raw data, and it is used for one categorical axis and other numeric axis. Let's start. We'll have to install package YAR for that. Go to tools menu, install package and type YAR triple R. Please remember that. Select from the drop down list and click install. You can install from the packages here also. Go to install. Same dialog box will be there. Type the package name and click install or you can install using install.packages command where you will type the package name and click install. After installation, call library yar, run that. Now we have the functions to plot pirate plot and look how easy it is. We are going to plot iris data and the function for plotting is pirate plot. We require a formula interface and for that we'll see the structure of iris to know about the variables which we want to plot. And as I said earlier, pirate plot is to plot a categorical data and a numerical data. And for that species is categorical variable and uh, petal width or sepal length, these four are uh, numeric variables. And here the first argument is a formula interface, the y axis or a dependent variable that is sepal dot length and that will be dependent on species. This formula is complete. Formula is very important here. You need to understand formula interface and the data. And this is sufficient to get a beautiful pirate plot like this. Now, we will little modify this plot using themes and you can see here theme is equal to one this is the default theme one is default theme two will run and uh, the bean color and all those got changed uh, this uh, again i will repeat here this is bean the uh, dark rectangle which you see at the center is the inference 95 percent confidence the dark bar or line is the average function here it is median and the points uh, the transparency of which is adjusted here are the points then theme 3 we will see theme 3 okay. this is the theme will change and theme 4 we'll see here and this is theme 4 the bars with the raw points and with just a single line and very few arguments, you get a beautiful pirate plot. If you want to change, it can be customized. Uh, we'll go with the theme one and we'll play a little bit different parts. The first part will play with points. Okay. Point dot CEX. This is for size and we'll go for three. Point size shall increase here. Okay. Point size got increased. Okay. That uh, we'll restore that again to one little larger points those will be but those are visible quite beautiful then point dot color will go for and here I will use very 
gaudy color red and these points are red we can change the alpha also or transparency of the points also point dot opacity i'll bring that to new line so that it can be visible and this opacity is uh, 0 to 1 and we'll have here opacity 0 0.7 and little opaque points are there okay. we can play with the bin color also that bin background opacity will go for and that 0 0.7 we will do and the bin opacity will get changed that bin opacity will reduce little 0 0.1 and the this is bin border bin border is changing okay. that bin fill we have to play with bin dot fill opacity 0 0.5 and bin opacity got changed bin color also you can play with bin border color f i will will go for red and this opacity i will increase to 0.7 the border will be visible here and then bin fill color also we will play with bin fill color and i will bring that to new line bin fill color i will go here for blue and this bin fill is there you can play with the inference line also that is inf this border color fill opacity in fill opacity uh, will go for 0 0.7 again and we'll run that and here bin color inference color is not there that inference color will give first inference fill color is equal to green will give it will be little gaudy but you can see that bin inference also got changed okay. and now we'll try to play with average line color comma average line opacity and that opacity will have 0 0.3 and we'll see what change uh, opacity of average line got changed we'll make it 0 0.7 and similarly you can play with average line color or uh, uh, average line opacity and all those aspects okay. it's a base r plot and uh, for, for that you can add the title to this plot main r pirate plot run that okay. title is there you can have x lab and y lab also x lab is equal to uh, species of iris and y lab is equal to sepal dot sepal length in mm run that the x and y labels got changed we have titles also if you want to add text that is also possible now we'll add text a different layer is required for that on the different line you will add text okay. in text you need to give x uh, location that x position will be 1 y position will be 7.5 and label will be label is equal to pirate plot shows rid and run that and here you can see the text as per your requirement you can add many uh, annotation elements to make this plot uh, self-explanatory more easy on the audience size and another uh, that uh, uh, ggplot2 version of uh, this pirate plot is also available a special package is required that package is not available on CRAN in my next video I will explain that ggpirate plot thanks for watching this video if you are like this video please hit like button subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet press bell icon if you want notifications of my new videos and share this video with your friends thanks thanks for watching